and welcome to the Preschool Amish vlog. So this vlog, I'm going to catch up on what I've been doing since Minotaur and show you the peak week of my training for Squamish. So let's jump in. Monday was a day off as always, and then into Tuesday. And we're back on the vlog. It's Tuesday, so that means Tempo Tuesday or Workout Tuesday. So we're gonna work on some speed work today, whether whatever that looks like. My legs are a little tired today. Hopefully we wake them up with a bit of a warm up here. So we're just under four weeks out from Squamish. So that means two more weeks of hard training in, and then into the taper. So I've done three really hard weeks since Minotaur and they have gone really well. So let's recap those last few weeks. Immediately after Minotaur, I did a 55K week. Into the following week, I got back up to 88K for the week, which featured uphill repeats at two spalls and a back-to-back -back long run weekend of two and a half hours into three hours on the trails, helping my friend Dale with his end-to-end -end on a section of the Bruce Trail. The following week was another big week of 88K with a Tuesday speed workout, a Saturday long run of three and a half hours of straight K2 repeats, and into Sunday, another back-to-back -back of two hours with 10 times rat jaw. And to catch you up, the week before this was another 88K week with a Tuesday speed session and a simulator long run of four hours on the trails and a smaller back-to-back -back of an hour and a half. So I had to ditch out in the mud covered. Good. And that catches us up to this week. So workout today, we're doing a 15 minute tempo into a 10 minute tempo and then five by two minutes. So the goal is just like relax tempo pace comfortably fast and then two minuteers should just be faster, although relatively hard. Let's see what she got today. per k pace a little slow the effort was right especially in the summer you gotta go by effort more than pace okay a few minutes rest and then we're gonna do 10 minutes a little bit faster ideally Okay, pace faster. Woo. And for those two minuteers, I was able to get two under left. four minutes per K pace, but usually I can get under three thirty <sighs> per K pace. So they were pretty slow today. And that Tuesday evening into an uphill treadmill session for 35 minutes at 12% grade. Into Wednesday, it was another traditional midweek reduced long run for another trail We're adventure. Heading out on the trail today, Rattlesnake Point. This is one of my favorite little lookout spots. Not too much vert, pretty technical. Another Wednesday midweek long run. Take it real easy tomorrow. And then the mountain train camp. This trail has stunning escarpment views, which many people will rock climb, hence the name Buffalo Crag Lookout, as Crag usually refers to a rock climbing area. Ontario summer. 
summer. Woo. The sky just opened up. Oh well, it's very cooling. Woo. I just got absolutely poured on. Ironically, I was just thinking, I think this is the first time I've been on these trails and they've been really dry. And it, cause it hasn't rained in a few days or heavily. And I got bored on. <laughs> oh well. So we're in Kelso right now. In the winter, it's called Glen Eden. It's a ski hill. It's a ski bump. Cause I don't think you call that a ski hill. In the summer, it's kind of a family resort. You can come to the beach. So we're gonna go do Maybe one or two ski hills. We'll see. This has got to be one of my favorite viewpoints on all of the Bruce Trail in this area. It's such an epic view of the escarpment edge that we just ran along and we can see exactly where we came from. Out here making friends on the trails. Ah, oh, rain runs are good for the soul. We're heading back to Rattlesnake now. And back to more escarpment views. That two hour run, I was able to cover just under 17K. Now Thursday was a day off. And just like that, we're into another Blue Mountain train camp. Let's go. So we're starting at Hogs Falls and we're in to the Fletcherton Loop again. So I love this Fletcherton Loop. It's an awesome mixture of technical bridges, waterfalls, and it has decent elevation. You usually get like 1200, 1300 meters per loop which is pretty awesome, in Ontario at least. So yeah, let's go. You've seen this Fletcherton loop on the vlog before. It's one of my favorite training camp loops and it's a great excuse to travel. So my last vlog, you saw me finishing up my trip to Alberta. So we've been home now for five weeks it's three weeks out for my next race three weeks out from squamish i'm feeling decent i have a few little niggles that i'm just going to pay attention to but i'm not too worried about that so today touched in loop four to four and a half hours depending on just if i want to add extra hills and beaver valley which is the plan right now tomorrow we'll be up and down the summit of blue mountain and then probably either another blue day on Sunday or back onto the Bruce somewhere. Let's go. We're at Green Side Road. Graham's Hillside Road. We're gonna go get some water. Josh Park just up here for me. And then continue to Beaver Valley. So last time on the vlog in here, it was pouring rain and I was soaked so much that I could barely even film content because my camera was so wet and I was wet. So pretty cool. This is one of my favorite little sections. Let's check out the waterfall. So cool. All right, we're heading over to Beaver Valley now. I've got two liters of water on, so a little bit heavy, but I have a fairly big loop ahead. So, and it's hot out. So let's go. So this is the section that I decided 
to go the wrong way on last time. Ah. No, this is right. So, please. This valley crossover side trail, that's the proper way to go for the loop. Today, I'm gonna go the wrong way on purpose and add some ski out. Let's go. Do we wanna go up it? Which one? These are the smaller ones and they might look huge. Look at this. Ski hill. Still going. Alright. Time to go down and you can't see them from here actually. We're heading over to the pen stocks and then Eugenie Falls. Heading down the ski hill. Gonna be doing a lot of this tomorrow. Stay wet, stay cool. Into the bush. If we read this section since I've been here, it's more of a switchback versus going straight up. Um, I don't really like it. He looks at you like you're something to eat. Going up there. I think this section is so cool. There's a field. Cool. Just over there. Head up to the pen stocks. The pen stocks. So cool. Going back over there. Let's go. Here's a really cool part of Flesherton Loop. There's this tunnel here. So they built this. They had the goal of tunneling uh, towards this other tunnel you're gonna see for water to flow from Eugenia Falls, or probably just before Eugenia Falls, to use the power for hydroelectric power. It cost way too much money, so they ended up having just to collapse that tunnel. And this is what remains. So yeah, at some point they had like, this was all carved out to try to have the water pass through here. Pretty cool. So the trail must follow that way, and we're gonna go to the other tunnel. Here's the other side. Crazy. So those two were connected, which is weird. All right, we're at Eugenia Falls. 
We're on the way back to Hogs Falls. Let's go see some waterfalls. Tall bridge. So tall. It's up to my chin. <laughs> so fun. We made it. And that made for a four hour, 45 minute run, which made for the longest time on feet in a training run ever. Into Saturday, July 27th, into the second part of my training camp. On this day, my buddy Reese joined me and we hit eight summits of Blue Mountain. Starting with the Apple Bowl lookout for two repeat, heading over to 1940 for three repeat, Then we headed over to the Village Way for one repeat, back over to Apple Bowl Lookout for another repeat, and then finished up with one more repeat up and down of Village Way. That made for a total of three hours on the day and 1,600 meters of vert. That meant I'd covered 3,000 meters of vert in two days. Of course, post-run treats are the must. And the Scandinavian Spa. How else would you recover from an epic adventure like that? And now on to the final day of the training camp. <laughs> so we're out at the Devil's Glen today. We're doing a walk run, a little bit of a walk to start, get an interior run to round up my week to 12 hours. If we do an hour today, which is maybe, yep. then I'll be 12 and a half hour a week. I think we're gonna get a little bit, little bit more vert today, maybe 300 meters. That'll round up the week to over 4,000 meters or 4,300 meters of vert for the week. Good thing, good thing I already did 4,000 meters of vert, including we descent. More. Now we need more. gonna be doing more. This blue mountain section of the Bruce is so fun because it cuts through a lot of ski areas. So cool. And there's a ski hill. So cool. I actually can't even look at that today because I did so many repeats yesterday. Oh! <laughs> no! <laughs> I don't want to do it. You're doing it. <laughs> don't make me do it. Amongst the evergreens. We got the sneaky roots. All right, we're gonna hit the side trail and take a loop, form a loop with the Bruce where we started. Oh, this is a cool oh, downhill section. That's cool. Some spots to do a steady uphill downhill training. We've been on it for like a K. 
What do you think? Oh yeah. Definitely runnable. Definitely runnable. Yeah, I can see it. The sign right there. Oh wow. Cool. That was 1.4k. And we can have this road too. Oh shit. And we're back. There's this field in this weird pond. Thank you for your services. <laughs> Hiring an official pusher for Squamish. And we're back. An hour 20. That makes it 12 and a half hours for the week. I'm done. I'm gonna nap. And that was my final peak week for Squamish with 100 kilometers and over 4,200 meters of elevation for the week. From there, I hit one more solid week of training of 85 kilometers. And that brings us back to the present day. It's Monday, August 12th, and Squamish is six days away. My husband, Josh, and I are flying out to Squamish, BC tomorrow. I've been really happy with my training vlog coming off of Minotaur. I got some really consistent training in. So at Squamish, I'm racing the 50K distance. It is part of the Canadian Championships, which also has a second distance of 80 kilometers. So the field is a bit spread out. So it's gonna be hard to say who shows up on the day, but all I know is I've done the best I can with my training. I've pushed my body right up to that limit of being trained and not overtrained. So I know there's nothing else I could have done in my training for this. So I'm gonna go enjoy some mountain views. Now after my race, just like after Alberta, I'll go back and do a travel vlog as well as a race vlog. So stay tuned for that. It's been so fun sharing this season with all of you and I look forward to more adventures for the next year. I don't have any more races planned for this fall, but I will still be doing plenty of running. So stay tuned for that. If you wanna follow me for the race, be sure to check out my husband, Josh Bolton's Instagram and he'll be posting updates as we go as my main crew chief who will be there at 20K aid station and the 40K aid station. My goal is somewhere between five and a half to six hours for this race. At the end of the day, I'm just gonna go run hard and put my best foot forward. Thanks for following along with my journey. Be sure to like and subscribe so you don't miss the post-race video.